Hi, welcome to week 11. Uh, this week we are going to work on two essential questions and finish up some of the reading in Teach Like a Champion that you started um, two weeks ago. So basically, um, as we finish chapter six, which was setting and maintaining high behavioral expectations, and then um, doing a kind of skim through chapter seven, which is building character and trust, we're focusing on this creating a classroom climate that minimizes disruptions and creates a climate for success. And I think by utilizing some of the techniques or thinking about some of the techniques that are presented in Teach Like a Champion, um, you can be successful in doing this in your own classroom. So, uh, read, so we're going to read pages uh, 191 through 223 and then watch those video clips. I think the video clips are um, really a great addition to this text because it, it allows you to kind of see it in action. Um, then we're going in your essential questions, you're going to answer both of them and you're not going to reply to a classmate's uh, post this week. So in the first essential question, I want you to describe one of the techniques that you read about in um, like 39 through the techniques 39 through 49. So choose one of those techniques and um, either describe how you've seen it being used in practice, maybe in your mentor's teacher's classroom or another teacher you've observed. Or if you haven't observed this technique, I'd like you to have a conversation in which you present the technique to your mentor teacher and you say, hey, I just read about this technique. It's called warm strict. Talk about um, the details of it and then have a conversation about it. What, what's their opinion on this technique? Have they tried it? Have they used it with success or not? If you don't want to talk with your mentor teacher, you can choose to um, have correspondence with a classmate. So you can do that through email. I would recommend, if you, if possible, getting together with them and saying, have you seen this in your mentor teacher's classroom? Or what do you think about this specific technique? And then um, in your post, talk about the conversation that you had either with your mentor teacher or um, with that classmate. In the second essential question, uh, I'd like you to choose a different technique in 39 through 49 and describe uh, what you like about that technique and then how you plan to use it in your own classroom and in your own management plan. So remember that the final for this course um, is going to be creating your own management plan. You're going to be collecting all the techniques that we've read about in Teach Like a Champion, we've talked about in our forums, and then also um, incorporating aspects from the management experts that you have been um, doing reflective journals about. So uh, both of these essential questions need to be answered by Wednesday, November 7th. I would encourage you to do them uh, as early as possible because next week um, we're going to be doing our reflective journal as well. Hope you guys have a great week, and I look forward to reading what you post.